What we got here is a piece of dragonstone, very commonly used in both fresh and saltwater aquariums. The primary focus of this video is going to be adding texture to the piece. And you actually do this by cleaning it, which I would highly recommend doing, otherwise it could change your water chemistry and your water clarity. Dragonstone's primarily harvested in Japan, and what it is is silt, clay, and organic material. It's been all mixed up and then pressed together from tides and waves, and then the sun hitting it, that's what uh, makes it hard. And all those uh, interesting little crevices and holes and stuff on there, that's uh, formed from the constant erosion. Uh, wearing away at the softer material. And that's what we're going after. We're going to try to get in there, remove as much of that soft material as we possibly can. We're just going to use some simple tools in running water. You can do this outside with the garden hose, but it's winter here right now and it's dark out. So we're just going to do this at the kitchen sink. The tools that I'll be using, like I said, they're real simple. For the outside of this, I don't want to scratch it. Even if I scratch it, it's fine though, because as it sits in the tank, uh, those scratches will disappear over time. But I'll be using a, uh, a toothbrush and some of these wooden skewers, these little wooden sticks here, to clean the outside. And I'll use these to get, to get into those little, uh, little holes and stuff. But also, when I, when I really get inside of it, I'll be using these uh, screwdrivers real gently. Down in the bottom here, I got this little metal uh, strainer, this little screen thing here. This is to collect all of the debris that comes off of it. The clay will dissolve and go right through it, but the larger pieces, we're going to want to keep them because uh, you may want to use them when you're doing the hardscape. I'm going to be gentle with this. This stuff is very brittle. Uh, it's very brittle and it's very porous. Uh, it is lightweight though, which is it's really nice compared to a lot of other rocks and stones and stuff um, And with it being porous, it's a great place for beneficial bacteria and stuff to colonize Just giving it a scrub down so I can see what I'm working with As you're working these little holes and stuff and you're getting the sticks or whatever you got down in it and you see that cloudiness coming out you know there's still stuff in there you want to keep working it till there's no more cloudiness as you're scraping and digging away it is very brittle though you want to be careful don't want to drop it and you don't want to you wouldn't want to stick like the screwdriver in here and start working your way back and forth you'd actually break large pieces off Keep rinsing it off until you know you have clean water coming off of it. To sterilize it, use one part bleach, nine parts water. Let it sit in there for uh, at least you know maybe a half hour would be good, and then rinse it off real good. Let it dry out, and then soak it again in dechlorinated water before you put it in your tank. Or even better yet, after you let it dry. Do a water change and let it sit for a day or two right in that because it's very porous. You want the water to get back in there so when you use this in your aquarium, you don't want to set it in there, have the water go in there, and then maybe it shift on you. You want to already have it waterlogged. I know it's stone, it's not wood, but it's very porous. So here it is after we've cleaned it up. I think this is probably going to be the back when I put it into an aquarium. And then this coming up now, this is going to be the front. And I hope it's showing up, but there actually is quite a bit more detail on this piece now. The crevices go much deeper. Plus, you know, cleaning it up now, I don't got to worry about it altering my water parameters or making the water cloudy.
And here's that material that I was able to catch with that metal strainer or trap there in the bottom of the sink, of the drain. I'll be saving all of this. I'll use it. It'll help texture the tank. <laughs> 